Hi everyone. During those three weeks, as we are already experiencing, we understand that it's all about how to transform judgment into mercy. And what is really judgment? And why judgment is coming during those days? Because we know from the point of the Creator there is no actual change. It's only from our point of perspective. But these three weeks are able to bring about all our correction into manifestation. It means that it shows much more clearly on all our desire to receive for oneself alone. So what does it mean, judgment? The moment I desire and it's not involve any type of restriction, it immediately comes as judgment. And what is the real judgment? It's the resentment that I have, the hatred, the un unfulfillment that I have from one thing or another. It is when I'm fearful, it is when I'm angry, it's when I'm lack of patience. This is like the real judgment. It means that my desire to receive has not been going through the process of letting go. So, of course, we are here to receive, but we are not here to take. And the moment we feel those kinds of feelings that we have, and we restrict them just for a moment, just for a moment, we actually creating what we call tsum. It's when we are closing a bit of our eyes and letting less light and more balanced light to come in to our brain, and that's how we get a clear picture. There is another way which is not as voluntarily. That's called curtain. Curtain is the moment I desire, 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 and I'm not willing to do any restriction. Since the reason why we came to this world was to earn, the cosmos have to apply and put down a curtain. Curtain helps me going through the process of earning. So, during this three weeks time, we are all here to transform judgment into mercy. And the way we do it is to create the Tsum ourselves and to become what we call the center column that controlled by Jacob. Jacob was the chariot unit. More than that, we have an amazing opportunity tonight to connect to the son of Jacob which also considered to be center column, and his name is Joseph. Joseph was a complete righteous that wherever he had been all over his life, he was able to create restriction and to bring about the good from the midst of the trouble. And he went to so many, many troubles in his life. Sold by his brother, condemned to be a rapist, being in jail, all the most difficult things ever in his life he went through. What was his secret? His secret was to see the good, to be the light in every given moment. And that allows him eventually to be the second in command to the richest country in the world then called Egypt. And this is the reason he became the chariot for abundance and sustenance. Because that's how we draw the real sustenance and abundance in life. Only through applying that momentary restriction. Instead of constant desire to receive and resentment to whoever don't give us what we need. So tonight I have a very powerful opportunity for us to connect to that channel called Joseph and to ask really to learn what is the real meaning of life and how we can draw fulfillment, how we can draw abundance, how we can draw sustenance to our lives. Have an amazing day, all the best.